Going on to you Capricorn. So you Capricorns have the Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the World, the uh, Eight of Swords, the Ten of the Ten of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So for you Capricorns, you did show up in your own reading because you have the World. So um, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is more so about, well, for this reading, the, this is more so about how you Capricorns, um, like I said, you're enjoying your life with, with other people, um, enjoying your life, having fun with your friends, your family, uh, Seven of Cups, still getting to know other people, still trying to get to the correct person, don't necessarily have a particular person just as of yet, but... Like I said, you're in the process of doing that because you're getting to know other people anyway. Um, you're just trying to make sure that you get one that's uh, best suited for you or you should get one that's best suited for you. Not just financially, physically wise, but also personality wise as well. Because there's nothing, I'm telling you, there's nothing that ruins a relationship more than when the two of you are incompatible but the two of you are just hanging out with each other because you may like their finances or they may like yours. Believe me, every relationship is better when you and a person actually are alike. A person is cool with your life and they're cool with what you can be in the future. That's how you know a relationship works. That's how you know the two of you can be madly in love is when the two of you are built for each other when the two of you actually get along based upon the, the quality of people that you are. The two of you link up. See, part of the reason why it is a lot of people really want relationships now, but it's so difficult. Part of the reason why, and we're getting into, an, again, a deeper layer of this, is due to the fact that two people are not alike in that regard. They don't really share that deep commonality of an understanding of who they actually are. So, you know, like you, you know, you, you, you was watching, like I was watching a show called Daredevil, right? Marvel Studios. And um, in the show, Wilson Fisk had actually found a person that was for him because the, the person that he was getting to know was just like him in a regard of cool with everything that he was doing and, and, was willing to build with him on, but he had everything built already, but was still willing to build with him with what it is that he wanted, because that wasn't his ultimate goal. And the two of them ended up getting very much so along together because the two of them had that commonality with each other. And the world card represent a lot of you Capricorns are very much so optimistic that you will find that person because there's a great big world. Yes, there is. Yeah, you did. Absolutely. You can find that person. Yep, absolutely. You can. I, I really, I am not joking. Love really does exist, but most people try to act like it doesn't. I know firsthand that it does. I really do. And <clears throat> the Eight of Swords represents, but it may seem that a lot of you Capricorns may be a little bit scared to take, to, to take that first um, stance, to, to take uh, action on that because this represents you unfortunately but the ten of pentacles represents because you you may be doing it you may be getting to know people in your own city in your own immediate surroundings so this so the world the eight of swords and the ten of pentacles represents you may need to start checking the entire globe start looking at the entire world as a as a, your as your playground as opposed to just only your immediate or nearby surroundings right so because sometimes people in your own hometown does not appreciate you the way that you should be appreciated that's just how it is sometimes it's, it's that's how it is a lot and you capricorns may need to actually go out and travel to see what it is that i'm talking about for you to realize that a lot of you are appreciated in a different place, in places that you did not really grow up. So the thing about it is, and the reason, part of the reason why is because when you, wherever it is that you grow up, 
people look at it like you got dirt here. Even if you're an individual that keeps your nose clean, they look at it like you're an individual that, that has that has dirt here. So you grew up here. So the way that they're looking at it is they 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 need to be uh, susp they need to be suspicious of you. So the Queen of Swords now represents, but you have to watch out for for being you Capricorns have to watch out because you may not have necessarily understood that before. And you may end up coming off like this as you're getting to know other people because you want to get to know people in that perspective. But what you don't really understand is, is that there's a great big world. Get to know people. Go to Italy. Go to Japan. Go to these places, right? So go to these places. Go to Italy. Go to Japan. Go to um, the Netherlands, uh, Malaysia, uh, Thailand, uh, Brazil. Jamaica, eh. go go to these places, right? Tr uh, Trinidad, go to these places, travel there because the Nine of Wands now represents as a result. The Nine of Wands is about um, because what will only happen to you is you'll get more angry and, and more angry due to the fact that people are not appreciating your value. They, they try to make it seem like you're not worthy of anything, right? Because you're having so much of a difficult time dating in the location or in the city that you're in and some of you capricorns may have lived in this uh state your whole life and, and you need to travel every if you ask me everybody needs to travel because first and foremost everyone needs to travel to understand that the world is not flat you know what i'm saying like everybody needs to travel to to understand maybe it is but everybody needs to understand that it's that it's not because because when you're only in your state, the reality of the world is really the reality of the world, the rest of the world. It really doesn't exist until you really travel it and to see and to actually see that oh, there actually are different locations. The rest of the world really doesn't exist if if you know if you understand what I'm saying. So you have to travel to really see oh touch basis. Oh, there is a such thing as Jamaica. There is a such thing as Trinidad. There is a such thing as Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Brazil, Mexico, um, uh, you know, St. Vincent. There is a su such places, uh, such thing as, as these places. The Four of Cups and get to know people as you go there because you, because a lot of those people, the vibe is different. Is Are there hoods? Absolutely. They are all hoods. Are those places technologically advanced like first world countries? No, A lot of them, no. But at the same time, there's a lot of great people there, right? And who know what it is and, and practice humility because they understand that humility is a superpower and it goes a long way. But it's very difficult to date nowadays because especially in a first world country, because certain, I should say, first world countries because a lot of the times people end up being caught up with the super ego, right? Everybody wants to be acting like they're the flyest individual in the room. I ain't gonna say everybody, but so many people want to act like they're the flyest individual in the room. And you can't have that. The Eight of Wands now, the Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords represents, but if you Capricorns don't learn how to broaden your horizons, expand, and like I said, touch bases, sometimes you need to touch the soil of a Trinidad, you know, kneel down and grab the the sand off of the beach or you know the dirt off of the ground and understand that you are in a different country you know you know in order for you to understand that but you're just going to be sabot unfortunately you're just going to be sabotaging yourself if you don't understand that the world is a great big big place and to travel relax enjoy yourself live your life because the eight of swords you a lot of you capricorns may be scared to do so there's a whole new world that you Capricorns haven't even seen. Let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the uh, Page of Swords. Ten of Swords, the Hermit, Two of Swords, and the King of Swords. Right, to clarify this. Yes, you're going to be causing your own problems. And that... The, you you can't expect other people to help you because 
There's nothing that people who are dysfunctional can do for you. They're just going to try to take advantage of you. As you continue to date, to a sword, the king of swords. But at the same time, if you want to continue to date in your own city, just be just be very wise as to what it is that you're doing.